Hi, I'm Nola, a nurse with the Medical Reserve Corps in Kansas City. Welcome to the training for volunteers in disaster shelters. This episode is about administering a tube feeding. Prior to administering tube feedings, it is important that you complete proper hand washing techniques. Gather the supplies that you will need. You will need a pair of non-sterile gloves, a 60 milliliter catheter tip syringe, prescribed liquid feeding, about two to eight ounces of water for flushing, a towel, and some washcloths. Have your supplies within reach at the bedside. Before preparing to administer the feeding, introduce yourself and explain what you will be doing. Inform the individual that you will be placing a towel under the tube to protect their clothing. Apply non-sterile gloves. Elevate their head. Hold the tube in one hand and open it with the other hand. Insert the catheter tip syringe into the tube. Be sure it fits snugly. Slightly elevate the catheter tip syringe four to eight inches above the individual's head. Slowly pour liquid feeding into the end of the syringe. Unclamp the tube. Gently raise and or lower the syringe to allow for a flow of gravity, a steady stream of feeding to be administered. When the feeding has finished running in, pick up the cup of water with your free hand. Slowly pour approximately two to eight ounces of water into the tube, allowing a flow of gravity. This helps to be sure all the feeding has entered the individual's stomach. After the flush is completed, clamp the tube. Clamping the tube keeps excess air from entering the stomach. Gently remove the syringe from the tube. Wipe the top of the tube with the towel and replace the plug. <laughs>